everybody today we're going to teach our robot how to drive in a square so let's get going here first thing we need to do in the background this is going to happen right when the program runs we nobody will even see anything from this but uh, the robot will be set up properly we have to do a few things first we're going to go to the movement now you're going to see me navigating these different chunks they're all different colors so i'm going to go to movement first okay click on this and i'll pull up all the movement stuff right in front of you and we have to set up the movement motors. You see, uh, the problem is, is that when you make a robot, you can make it any way you want. So you can plug in the motors literally to anywhere. You've got to tell it where the motors are being plugged into, the ones that are going to make it move. So we're going to use the set movement motors to, and now see it's on A and B. We don't want that. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click in C and D. It might already say C and D there, and then you're fine, you're, but we have to set it up like that. Okay, good. The next thing we need to do is uh, set our default movement speed. For this project, I'd like you to set the movement speed, so set movement speed to 35%. Okay, so movement speed is going to set to 35%. That'll slow it down just a little bit and make it a little bit more accurate. And finally, you know, Legos, again, we can build it any way we want. Lego doesn't know how you're going to build it. And they have to make this program so it can work with any type of robot. You know, there's robots out there that solve Rubik's Cubes. There's Lego robots that play the drums. So they can, they got to make this work for pretty much anything. So the next thing we need to do is tell it how big of a wheel did we put on here. Look, if we put a small wheel on there, every rotation, it wouldn't go very far. If we put a giant wheel on there, every time it spins around once, it goes very far. We have to program it for our wheels, and it just turns out that that's the default. Lucky us. So we're going to click this and drag it out. Set one motor rotation to be 17.5 centimeters of movement. Don't mess with that. Just put it out there and snap it on. See this stuff right here? This is going to happen when, when the program starts. So right at the beginning, we're going to, when we press play, oh, whoops, you guys couldn't see it. I'm sorry. So I, what I put out there is set one motor rotation to 17.5 centimeters. So we've got set the movement motors to C and D so the robot knows where the movement motors are plugged into. We're going to slow things down, set the movement speed to 35%. And finally, we're just going to tell it what size of tires we have on here. And we're going to do that by setting one motor rotation to 17.5 centimeters. That's this one right here. And you don't need to change the numbers on that. You know what? This is only going to happen once, right when the program starts. Okay? <clears throat> so what is all this then? Let's right click. I'm going to put a comment here. So we right click right up here when program starts and add comment. And you can just type in here. Basic robot setup. Okay, cool. We got our basic robot setup done. This will make it so that you don't forget what's here. And you can move this label like right here or wherever. Oh, I like the way that looks right there. Cool. Okay, we got that part done. Now, what else is going to happen? That's not very exciting. Nothing happens. If I just ran this program right now, nothing would happen. We wouldn't see any movement on the robot. Now we're going to program the robot to do something when we press, <clears throat> when we press the button right here, the right button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to events. It's over here on the left. And we're going to go down to when the left button is pressed and drag that out down here for our second chunk of code. There's another stack of code. And we're going to change that. Um, since we're going to be making right turns, I'm just going to use the right button instead. Okay? So this will run for me. You could do it the other way. I don't care. But for me, this is going to run when I press the right button. Okay? And what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we need to get our finger, our, wait, give it a second for our hand to kind of get out of the way. So go to control and go to wait one second. There we go. So I'm gonna wait one second. And then we're gonna do some movement. The square is gonna start by making this robot move straight forward. Hey, everything you do, you should try it out step by step and get it working in little steps. Okay, so I just plugged in my robot. And you might have to press the connect one if you're doing the, and go through that stuff if you're on the web browser. If you're on the program on your computer, you should just plug it in. And I'm going to press, in, uh, remember, you have to press the connect and go through that. And then I'm going to press the play. Okay, I heard the, this get downloaded. And the program is actually running, but it's waiting for me to press that right button. 
So let's take a look here. Change the camera. There we go. So I press this button on the right here. And the robot moves forward. It didn't move forward very far because I only have it set for 10 centimeters. We need to make that a little longer, don't we? See, 10 centimeters. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here, see if you guys can see this a bit better. Hmm, well, I guess zoom doesn't work on this. Okay, well, <laughs> so let's go to the next part. <clears throat> Maybe we can make it bigger over here. Huh? Oh, settings. Yeah. Okay, now when our robot goes and it's making its turns, the yaw angle is how it is rotated in its turns. So on the ground, it would be like this. When we start off a turn, we want to set our yaw angle to zero. That means it's gonna, we're going to start from scratch, whatever way it's pointing, when the turn starts, that's where we're going to be looking. So what we're going to do first, and let's, let's, after we've moved forward, oh, we've got to change this. We, let's go to inches, and let's go to 12 inches. Okay, now that we have that, we could run that again and show it, but I think we know that's, I'm pretty confident that's going to move a foot. So I'm going to uh, wait, and actually, you know what? Yeah, at 12 inches, that's fine. That's a foot. We're going to wait another second, and then we're going to start our turn code. Now, what the heck is turn code? Okay, well, we're going to set yaw equal to zero to, start to say, hey, you know what? At the start of this turn, this is at zero. So we're going to go down here to, and this is under sensors. We're going to set the yaw angle to zero. Okay, cool. Let's go back to movement, and then we're going to start our turn. And we're going to go to start moving right and change it to right 100%. Now, what 30% would be a slow, like our robot goes and it's driving, it does a very slow, gradual turn. Okay? 100%, it doesn't even move. It just, it's, it, it turns so sharp that it just turns in place. Okay? And that's what we want. We want 100%. But we didn't tell it how long to go for because we're going to wait until the yaw angle sensor detects something bigger than 89. And guess what's bigger than 89? 90. 90 degree turn, right turn. Okay, so let's go down here and... We're going to go to events. Sorry, guys. I'm new with this, the, with this coding language, so it kind of takes me a second to get this. Oh, sorry. Control. Go to control. And then wait until... So what this is, is we're going to start moving right, and we're going to wait until, we're going to keep doing that until something happens. And what are we going to have happen? We're going to set this to greater than. So go down to operators, which is all the math stuff is down here. And you can see this one has a comparison, greater than, equal, less than. We're going to use the greater than, the one on the bottom here. And we're going to put that in this little hexagon area. And we're going to change this to greater than 89. And what's going to be greater than 89? Well, we have to tell it what. We're going to go to the sensors again, and we're going to go, see this one that says pitch angle? We're going to change it to yaw angle, and then drag that out and put it right here. And then what do we do next? Go to movement, and then we're going to stop moving, because then our turn's done. We need to stop right there. Okay, now what the heck is going on here? Let me go through and explain this. When our robot approaches, it's going to be, uh, it's going to go 12 inches. It's going to move forward 12 inches, and then it's going to stop. You're going to set this equal to zero, so it knows, hey, going forward is not, you know, it's not, it's zero. And then it's going to start turning, and it's going to wait until it turns to 90, because that's the thing that's bigger than 89. So we wait until the yaw angle changes to bigger than 89, which is 90, and then we stop moving. Okay, and like good coders, we are going to test our code right now. So let's plug it in. You might have to press the connect thing if you're working on a web browser and go through that. And then once it's connected, you'll see these readings up here. You can tell it's plugged in because you see the C, D, and E motor readings. And then you're going to download it. Press play. Okay. So unplug this and see what happens. And if everything did, it, did correctly, uh, works correctly, it should move forward for a foot and then turn right. Hey, there we go. Hey, I'm going to right turn. Now you can see 
it turned a little bit further than it should. But hey, we're, it's our first day at this, so let's just call it good with that. Now that you have that tested and you know that it works, don't go on and just like, oh, let's just do all of it. You've got it tested and you know it works. Well, now we're gonna go, and you know how you make this into a square? There's two ways. There's the smart way and there's the hard way. Let's do the hard way first. I know it's not very hard. So if you click right here, right click and duplicate, you'll make another side that makes two sides. And then you grab these, see that's two sides. So you right click and duplicate. There's another two sides and slap that on. That would totally work. However, anybody who knows anything, I would recommend instead you go to control and you go to repeat 10. Now we're not gonna actually repeat it 10. We're gonna change that, but we'll grab it and snap that in above wait one second. And look at this and change that. Oh, that's 10, don't want 10. We want four for ours. And there we go. I'm gonna move this back down here now that it fits better. So this is gonna repeat it four times. <clears throat> and of course, nothing matters unless we can prove it works. So let's plug it in. You might have to click the connect thing. Oh, hey, I see this, the motor readings, we're ready to go. And I'm gonna download it. Okay, and let's switch our camera. There we go, all right, so. And keep in mind, it's at a kind of a weird angle because the camera isn't directly above this. Hopefully this doesn't go out of frame here. Forward, right turn. Forward, right turn. That's two repeats. Now we're on the third repeat and we're on the last repeat now. Forward and right turn. You can see it overshot the turn a little bit there, didn't it? Okay, cool. So there it is. There's our, there's our robot. <clears throat> it's a little rough. It's a little nasty. He's, 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 he's turning too much. Our robot is going a little bit too far, but we can clean up that code later on. So we'll try to, I'll show you later on how we can make this so that at least the errors do not accumulate. All right. So, Hey, as soon as you got that done, why don't you uh, flag me down and uh, call me over there and show me and demonstrate it. Probably just have you put it on the floor by my desk and you can show me and get your points for this assignment. So, Hey, um, Oh, and let's put, let's be good programmers and put our, our code down here. Right. Let's add a comment right here. What is this? Well, what are we doing? When we press the right button, it draws a square by repeating a side and turn pattern. That's a pretty good way of saying it, don't you think? When we press the right button, it draws a square by repeating a side and turn pattern. Now I could say it repeats it four times, but I think we get it, okay? And if you wanna add more details, I, I want everybody to have their comments on here, okay? I do want you to do this. But if you wanna add some more details, you can do even more. So you could like take this one and right click, comment, move forward one foot. Uh oh, I misspelled forward. I put an extra E there on a typo. Okay. And then comment here 90 degree turn. And there you go. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Enjoy.